Hello students, I want to talk just a minute today about a really easy and fun way to remember or learn the key signatures with your violin. So the strings, as you probably know, are one fifth apart from each other. And this makes it operate really nicely with the circle of fifths, which has to do with key signatures. So. Um, Basically, there's one thing you have to remember, and that is that we do not have a C string like the viola would or the cello. So because we don't have a C string, that reminds us that the key of C major does not have any sharps or flats, okay? And then when we come to our G string, our lowest string, that has one sharp, it's the key of G major. And then our D string has two sharps, the key of D major. The D string does not have two sharps. This is just our reminders. So the D string reminds us of D major, which has two sharps. The A string reminds us of A major, which has three sharps. And the E string reminds us of E major, which has four sharps. And then for the flats, we're not gonna forget about the flats. Um, we're gonna go back down, but we're gonna use first finger this time. So first finger on the E string reminds us of F major, which has one flat. Um, the B flat on the A string reminds us of two flats in the key of B flat major. And then the first finger E flat reminds us of E flat major on the D string, um, three flats in E flat major. And then um, A flat major first finger on the G string reminds us of A flat major, four flats. So that gives us, I believe, nine key signatures. Um, four for the open string sharps, plus the C major, which has no flats or sharps. And then the first finger, um, working our way down, shows us the names of the flat key signatures. So that's kind of an easy way as a violinist to remember or learn your key signatures and to check when somebody says, okay, how many um, sharps does A major have? Now you have a tool to use to figure this out.